Well, good Tuesday, everybody. What's going on? So, I've got a few articles I want to talk to you about real quick. And uh, this here, Kim Gardner. Now, I did a video a few days ago about her not backing down. Nobody, she says, you're going to have to remove me. Well, this is getting quite interesting because her legal team or her legal, uh, pe the people that work underneath her are resigning and uh, we're kind of running for the hills a little bit. And I'm going to show you something real quick. Watch this real quick. In a busy afternoon, because also new at noon for you, another prosecutor is out of the St. Louis Circuit Attorney's Office. Assistant Chris Desolitz announcing his resignation today. It comes after another prosecutor, Alex Polta, left the office a few days ago on Friday. Desolitz is the latest resignation as Kim Gardner's office faces mounting criticism. Desolitz was in court last week for his contempt hearing, possibly facing a fine, jail time, or perhaps both. The court accused him of failing to appear for a trial and a hearing in a case where an 11-year-old girl was shot. The judge found that there is enough evidence to possibly hold Desolitz and Gardner in contempt. A hearing for that was set later this month, coming up on May 30th. News 4 investigates recently uncovered court rec records that show Desolates had 104 open cases as of last week. Both Polta and Desolates worked with the Violent Crimes Unit, meaning they handled cases like shootings and murders. The St. Louis Circuit Attorney's Office tells us they cannot comment on personal matters, saying, quote, they are aggressively recruiting and hiring attorneys. Ooh, that's kind of heating up a little bit. And like I say, the last video, if you look back, you'll see where she was trying to get a new judge and all that. And I'm like, dude, come on, man. This, this looks like kind of a fair trial thing popping off, you know? And so um, she's they, they could be facing some uh, time, some some serious consequences. I hope that happens. Check this out real quick. I want to show you guys something. It says here. Now, this is kind of breaking news. This just came out. This is hot off the press. Uh, Senator Joe Manchin may leave the Democrat Party ahead of this 2024 E-word. So, I don't know what that, what the whole, I know that, dude, okay, first of all, I got, don't trust him. I've seen him at WEF meetings. So, you go ahead and put that in the comment section. I'm fine with that. But, but it uh, helps to have some numbers, and if he starts to, maybe some people wake up. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. But um, in the comment section, you can tell me how you feel about that. But I have seen Manchin uh, up there with Klaus Schwab and the crazy people who wants us to eat the bugs. Anyways, Senator Joe Manchin, Democrat from West Virginia, is keeping his personal 2024 decision very quiet. Many are speculating that he will run for the re-e-word in West Virginia, and the in the Senate, rumors are stirring that he may opt to run for a White House on a third-party ticket. Manchin is a centrist Democrat senator who joins the likes of Kirsten Sinema and Arizona John Tester of Montana. 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 They often vote against a tempin. A, get, get you a tempin. A tampon? A t a, how'd they say it in that movie? But anyways, the, the, uh, Manchin has suggested in the past that he may leave the Democrat Party. He said uh, the voters are starving for less partners. Uh, partisanship <laughs> is am i just not going to read today is that what we're going to do so the uh the voters are sick of this constant daily routine of everyone's against everybody and everybody's fighting and arguing which is not everybody it's the daggone it's it's we're trying to say this is what's going on and needs to be this way because this is what's sustainable and you got other people who are doing everything completely unsustainable you can't cut off certain parts of your body and expect to this you're not somebody's got to say something somebody's got to say something but anyways it seems to me that he doesn't want to take part in that partnership. He doesn't want to be part of the people who are chopping off limbs and stuff off of trees for no reason. Um, so that's quite interesting. Let's just see how this plays out. Maybe we'll... That'd be cool if he did that before. And then that would really, really help some stuff go on what we need. Because they obviously can see that if we don't do something within the next few months, America's going to be all messed up. So we got to get some majority some kind of which away. I hope that this works out. So, guys, thank you for watching this quick video. And let me uh, just say thank you for tuning in. I've got to run. I've got a bunch of stuff to do this evening. So, thank you very, very much. And uh, please hit the like, subscribe, and share. And share the stuff out everywhere. Tell everybody what's going on. Have a good rest of the evening and a good week ahead. I'm out.